Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In the previous episode, we have set up our server, right? And we have added a couple of configurations in order to reading the environment variable as well as, and we have introduced like how the handlers are working while while it comes to respond to certain endpoints, right? So now this is the time where we will be writing a little bit like structure code. So where we'll be introducing all the uh, REST API endpoints, right? By, by segregating that specific handlers. As an example, user can handle only user related stuff, maybe transaction, maybe catalog or something like that way. So we are going to do that one, right? So let's try to uh, do one by one all the stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do, like I'm going to remove all these things from here at this moment. This is not required from here, right? And inside the REST, like we have a pretty much uh, structured directory right here inside API, internal API and REST. Here inside the REST, we are going to create one directory that is called handlers, right? Where are all the uh, all the RESTful API handlers going to be uh, going to recite. And let's say, and the LDRS handlers, right? Yeah, here. Inside handlers, we are going to create a couple of files, right? First file will be like, here, this is going to be like user dot user handler dot go. This is going to be Calacus. Go. And a couple of more handlers, right? Go here, and this is going to be Cutler dot go and one more this is going to be transaction dot go perfect so these are the handlers we are going to use right uh, throughout of our application perfect so now we have created our handlers right so let's try to add some code right here right first of all let's go to user handler and I'm going to close rest of all, right? Close other tabs. So here, first thing we need to do, one struct we need to create. So at least all the handlers can have like a receiver functions, right? Once that the handler instance is created, then we can utilize everywhere. So this is how it's gonna work. So first thing first, let's try to define one struct here. So type, type user handler, user handler going to be struct, struct. So as of now, this struct will be empty. So here, what we are going to pass, we are going to pass a service. Let's say a service is going to be user service. So this is, we are going to do uh, in, in upcoming lectures. So, but first of all, we need to configure correctly. So at least while we are, we're referring to our user handler, while we are calling any kind of endpoint, then our user handler will be able to respond accordingly, like as per the endpoints call, right? So let's try to do that. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to set up like, setup handlers so that specific handler functions uh setup handler function has to call from our server right on the time of initialization of the server so this is going to be a public function setup setup user user route routes right so here's something we need to accept as a kind of a parameter from our from our server which is potentially accept the uh, the our piper app all right based on that piper app only it can be response the uh, to the endpoints that is we need to do so in that case we need to have one more struct so let's go ahead and the rest here create one more struct so go file http the handler dot go right so we're going to remove everything from here take case rest right then this one is going to be like here let's try to create one struct right the struct will be type rest REST handler, this is going to be struct. And inside this struct, we need to define only app, which is potentially kind of pointer of Piber app, right? App will be Piber, Piber app. So this is enough for, for a while, right? So let's go here once again to the handler, right? User handler. Then we can utilize right here as a kind of like, uh, you can say uh, our H REST handler. And we, we would say here, like a uh, rest rest handler All right this is fine and from this rest handler we are going to grab that the the app which is exactly spinning up right here this one so how we can grab that one so let's uh, declare one variable that is called app right and our age rest handler app right so this is all and inside this app we can just directly call let's say app app dot get can you see like this is the similar convention we have we have done in our server in our previous episode. This is the thing we are going to do. But before that, we need to create all the handlers, required handlers for our, our user handler, right? So let's try to do that. 
So first of all, let's uh, declare a function that is called like func. Um, this is going to be like receiver function, uh, which is potentially accept that the user handler, this one, right? So let's say h, h will be handler, right? And user handler, right? And here we will say like sign up, or maybe register also you can say, register. And it will receive to the context CDX as a kind of fiber app, fiber dot CDX, CDX, and it will return error in the similar way. All right. And uh, this is going to be very efficient while we are returning something rather than leave it empty. Return, return CDX dot status, All right? That's a 200. Or maybe we can say HTTP uh, status OK. Then we can say session, right? Here we will be passing again um, fiber map, map. Here say message. Message will be um, register. Right, perfect. Now our register handler is ready, right? But how we can use that, right? As you can see, this is a kind of receiver function, right? The rule of the receiver function, it can be only applicable while we are going to create one kind of instance of that specific handler, like right? specific struct, right? So let's try to create that specific things here. So what we are going to do, let's say handler, handler will be kind of, what kind of handler? This is going to be like user handler, right? So right now, as of now, we don't have any kind of parameter right here, but in future, whatever the service we are going to initialize right here, let's say create, 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 um, create an, and instance of user service, right? Service and and pass to and pass to handler and and inject to handler. So this is where we are going to do right here. But as of now, we don't have service, right? So let's try to fix that specific things first, right? The, at, at least the basic configuration. Now our handler instance is ready, right? So somehow we need to use that handler instance. So how we can do that? So let's try to create all the endpoints. Let's say endpoints. So this is going to be like public endpoints, public endpoints, and here are going to be like private endpoints. Right, so first of all, let's assign all the public endpoints. So how we can do that? Let's say we are going to define all these things like app dot, um, dot post, post, which is potentially going to be like uh, register, register, and here, this handler is going to be like handler, Handler, now you can you can see this register is coming right here, right? So now it is hooked up with the register. So this is the public endpoint. So let's try to create a couple of more. As an example, like we're going to create one more. This is going to be like login, right? And login. And let's add this endpoint right here as well as this is called login, right? So here this is login. Right. So we are we are going to call this both the post request, then it has to respond accordingly. All right, so these are our public endpoints, right? So some of the pri private endpoints also will become. So in this case, let's try to assign it a similar way and then later stays while we are going to introduce our authentication one, then we'll be shifting all these things to a public endpoints, right? So potentially the public endpoints will be something like this way. Let's say here, it will be uh, verify. verify. Then this is like, uh, uh, yeah. this is like, this is like, then this is like our uh, post route, post route. And now now this is the right time where we need to put all this like handlers like right now only two handlers we have right one is needed as a verify so let's try to create all the handlers right there this is going to be verify right and let's give it a little so, right, let's try to close all these things here. Try to omit this empty spaces so at least we can have enough room to see what other things are left, right? Then verify, then one more thing. This is going to be like, this one is the get code, get verification, get verification code. Right. So this is going to be like here, get verification code. This is going to be verify, right? 
then this profile is going to be needed. So let's try to close this one here. I'm in this space. And here, we're simply like copy pasting all this uh, handlers just to fulfill our, our uh, all, all duplicate handlers for login, you know, instead of login, we'll just try to replace with the actual one. Okay, so uh, right after verify, this is going to be profile. Uh, in this case, let's say create profile. All right, this create profile will come over here. And create profile, post, and then we will be having get profile as well as. This is going to be get, get profile. Get profile, All right? This is going to be get profile. All right, so I'm going to add uh, very quickly like uh, all these endpoints, right? Perfect, so we have hooked up everything, right? So all these endpoints are perfectly hooked up right now, right? The private and the public things we are going to take care of in upcoming lectures, but at this moment, while we are setting up our user routes, then all the endpoint has to be uh, respond accordingly. Like at least it, it should has to respond with some kind of the meaningful message, right? So this is what we are going to do, right? So now everything is cool. Let's go to the server.go file here. So here we are going to set up our, our routes, right? So in this case, we are going to add one function here. This is going to be like func, right? Set up, set up, set up routes, or maybe handlers, whatever you can say. And here, as a kind of input, it should have to accept something, right? This is going to be particularly uh, rest uh, handlers. And so this is a kind of pointer, which is going to be rest handler, right? So now we need to set up our user routes here, right? This is going to be like handlers, handlers set up user routes. So here inside this input, you can see like, this is also accepting the similar kind of uh, parameter, right? This is going to be like pointer of rest handlers, right? This is what we need to pass it here. So which is going to be like our H. Now this is cool. Now while we are spinning our server, start server, then we need to set up this one as well as. So now here, right after the app, right, Fiber app, here we need to instantiate our REST handler. This is going to be like REST handler. REST handler will be a kind of REST, REST handler. And because we are just referring to that specific handler, because this M person is saying like, this is exa exactly, it's a kind of pointer, right? So that's why we are, we are going to define like this way. And this is going to be like app. And we can say, and this app is a kind of fiber app, which is potentially this one. So let's try to pass this one. And now we need to set up this one. Let's say set up, right? Set up route. This is going to be like our rest handler. So you can make it like a shortener also. This is going to be rh. Then you need to pass it rh here. Perfect, so now our setup is done. So potentially we are we are having our handlers here, which is going to tackle all the requests and response. And we have uh, our uh, specific struct where we will be going to inject all the dependencies. And we have our server where we are setting up all the routes. So in future, let's say this is going to be like for user handler. Then maybe a transaction gonna gonna come right here. Transaction is gonna come. Then maybe we can say catalog also come. Catalog catalog also come. So these are the things we are going to set up right here. Right. Now let's try to spin the application, right? And if you go here, then you can see uh, we don't have anything, right? So let's try to put some kind of card, right? Can you see get card is getting called, right? So maybe order, order, order. Now get orders are getting called, right? Let's try to pass some kind of pillar right here. So get order by ID is getting called. So this is how it is going to be served from here, right? Now this is the time where we are going to take care of our business logic, where we will be inject our service layer, right? To the user handler. Then while we are going to call this register, right? Or maybe login or any, any one of the handler from here. So that specific handler can hand over that specific logic to our service layer. And it can perform some kind of operations right there. Maybe it can call the database or maybe some 
uh, message broker or collecting data from some sources, right? Then again, it's just returning back to, to, to here. So at least user can receive the response. So this is how it will going to be more proven. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you really enjoyed this, please give a, give a thumbs up and share with your friends if you think like this is very useful content. And I would like to see you in another episode. Bye-bye.